this extra rib that humans have are what we will show you. Cervical ribs are the spare ribs technical name. These are super rare in humans, which is why they carry fame. 0.5 to 1% of the population may have cervical ribs across all nations.
We love to keep your body going We provide the oxygen to fuel your cells So they keep flowing where your lungs Part of the respiratory system You can find us in your chest Keeping us healthy is your mission It starts in your mouth and in your nasal cavity When you take in a breath of air It fills your trachea, you see Your trachea is there to move the air That you breathe into the bronchus in your lungs They look just like little trees Small branches called bronchioles They guide the air through me Which pulls it to these little sacs And they're called alveoli we are your lungs We love to keep your body going We provide the oxygen to fuel your cells So they keep flowing We're your lungs Part of the respiratory system You can find us in your chest Keeping us healthy is your mission The alveoli's job is to take oxygen from air And pass it through the walls of capillaries To blood cells in there They also take carbon dioxide off of your blood cells Which travels through your respiratory System so you can feel well The right lung has an upper middle and a lower lobe The left lung only has the upper and the lower lobe, you know We are your lungs We love to keep your body going We provide the oxygen to fuel your cells So they keep flowing, we're your lungs Part of the respiratory system You can find us in your chest Keeping us healthy is your mission Description below! I am your spleen You will learn what this means I am purple five inches long And I'm shaped like a bean I'm your spleen You will learn what this means I produce antibodies And I keep your blood clean I'm the spleen, the largest organ In the lymphatic system You don't need but if removed from your body, you'll be more prone to infection. The spleen is located under the rib cage above the stomach. Here in the upper left quadrant of the abdomen, the space I share. What's the anatomy of the spleen? Yeah, the spleen's part. I will teach you this now while you look at the splenic work of art. Here you see the splenic hilum and the gastric surface There's the pancreatic and renal surface Now repeat this The splenic artery supplies oxygenated blood to the spleen And the splenic vein drains the blood from the spleen If you know what I mean Let's take a look inside the spleen to learn more of its parts There are two main types of tissue in me and that's where we'll start The first main tissue is called the red pulp Of this I will tell it filters blood of antigens, microorganisms and defective red blood cells. The second main tissue is called white pulp. We'll view this as well. It's part of the immune system, mainly made up of white blood cells. The trabeculae of the spleen is the framework within, which is attached to the capsule. It surrounds the spleen and it's thin. Vascular sinusoids are white vessels that drain into pulp veins. We'll learn how this all works, but first let's sing again. I am your spleen. You will learn what this means I am purple five inches long And I'm shaped like a bean I'm your spleen You will learn what this means I produce antibodies And I keep your blood clean All the functions of your spleen Are really complex But I'll explain the basic functions In the next few steps Red blood cells last 120 days Delivering oxygen to your body When they're damaged Entering the spleen recycled is what they be. Healthy cells flow through, but those that are in their unhealthy stages are broken down by large white blood cells that are called macrophages. This all happens in the red pulp tissue that we talked about. These macrophages' main job is to filter all the damaged cells out. These old red blood cells are turned into conjugated bilirubin, which is excreted through bile out of your body then. The white pulp consists entirely of lymphoid tissue. Here I will explain the basic basics of what it does for you when you get sick or have some sort of nasty disease the lymphoid tissue within the white 
pulp sets your body at ease It creates white blood cells to fight off the sickness And then it also makes antibodies that bind to specific antigens Both white blood cells and antibodies fight sickness and disease Enabling them to be cleared from the circulation in your body The spleen stores up to a cup of blood for your safety Ready to be released if there's a significant loss of blood you see Many platelets are also stored within the blood in the spleen to help form blood clots to prevent further blood loss if you know what I mean Please take care of your body so you don't get sick and if you do the spleen will be there to help you fix it I am your spleen You will learn what this means I am purple five inches long and I'm shaped like a bean I'm your spleen you will learn what this means I produce antibodies and I keep your blood clean Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters I'm your heart I live inside of your chest I'm about the size of your fist And I never take a rest I'm your heart You couldn't live without me I pump the blood that fuels your body So take care of me please The human heart is made up of four major chambers in me The right atrium and right ventricle are the first two you see They receive blood that's low Sends it to your lungs through your pulmonary artery The lungs fill blood with oxygen that your left atrium receives And flows through the left ventricle to the aortic arteries I'm your heart I live inside of your chest I'm about the size of your fist And I never take a rest I'm your heart that fuels your body so take care of me please I can beat more than 100,000 times in one day pumping about 2,000 gallons of blood through your body there is about 60,000 miles of vessels in your circulatory system I always keep them full I have four valves that open and close that control the blood through me the tricuspid Pulmonic, mitral, and aortic valves you see I'm your heart I live inside of your chest I'm about the size of your fist And I never take a rest I'm your heart You couldn't live without me I pump the blood that fuels your body So take care of me please Description below! I am a myocyte, your muscles are made up of me. Here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body. We'll start with the deltoids that sit on the shoulders of your arms. There are three parts to your deltoid that I'll teach you with some charm. The interior fibers are on the front side of you While the lateral fibers sit on the top of the shoulders, that's two The third part's called posterior that sits on your back All three make up your deltoid muscles, now how about that? The next muscle we'll look at are the pectorals on your chest There are two parts to this muscle that I hope you never rest There's a pectoral minor which is connected to your Sure, it lets you lift things with no harm. We'll take a look at the triceps on the back 
backside of your arm. There's a ladder, a long and medial hand, which make up the three parts that concludes a triceps very complex anatomy. I am a myocyte. Your muscles are made up of me. Here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body. Let's look at the abdominals that sit on your tummy. This is a pair of four muscles when flexed are very bumpy. Hey, there's the obliques. They keep your sides really strong. There is the internal oblique muscle that supports your abdomen. The external oblique muscle helps with your side bend. Let's look at your gluteus maximus on your rear end. It's the largest muscle in What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Your tongue is covered in a pink tissue called mucosa. Its main job is to protect deeper tissue when you gnaw. The rough parts of your tongue are called the lingual papillae. They are the small bumps that store taste buds so you enjoy food all day. There are four different types of your tongue's papillae. They're named the filiform, foliate, fungiform, and circumvallate. The frenum is the tether of the front bottom of tongues. It holds your tongue in place so your mouth can move freely while it runs. The back of your tongue is anchored by the hyoid bone. The tongue is vital for many things I will show. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. The muscles in your tongue are a few we will discuss. The style Ohio and Genio all end in Glossus. Then the Genio and style Ohio ideas. Learning these muscles of your tongue, yeah, it is a must. Your tongue's main job's to help you chew and swallow all your food. It also helps you speak all words to express your present mood. The common amount of taste that your tongue can recognize are the four. I will tell you, it may come as a surprise. Sweet, sour, bitter, and salty are the four. But sometimes you taste a fifth called you, mommy, I adore. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. When you bite into your food, the chemicals from foods release and sinks into the taste papilla to the taste buds that run deep. 
Sensory cells transform chemicals into nerve signals that are sent into the brain through the nerve fibers they do go. When the signals reach your brain, that information is passed through your cranial nerves to the brain stem really fast. The medulla oblongata takes all those signals and sends them to the limbic and cortical systems you should know. Perception and emotion are then formed for what you ate, then mixed with smells and texture, which create this thing called taste. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. You have a spine. It's what you see, and if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. I am your spinal column, I'm made of lots of bones. These bones are called your vertebrae, collectively your spine's their home. The first group we'll look at is the cervical curvature. It's made up of seven vertebrae, we'll learn them, I am sure. The first vertebrae we will discuss are C1 and C2, also known as the atlas and the axis inside of you. The atlas joins the base of the skull and you call your head. It's job to support head weight, without it you'd flop instead. The C2 axis allows your C1 and your skull to move about in most directions with Without it, life would be dull. C3 through C7 are there to support your head. Let's move on to the next group after the chorus is said. You have a spine, it's what you see. And if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. The next group of your spine we will be looking at is the thoracic curvatures, 12 vertebrae intact. Each vertebrae we see begins with the letter T. The T stands for thoracic, let's take a look and see. T1 through T12 are bigger than the group in your neck. Because the spine supports more weight the further down we check. At the bottom of this group begins the lumbar curvatures. Five vertebrae start with the letter L, you'll learn I'm sure. L1 through L5 brings you down to the sacrum. The fuse bone between your hips and the pelvis it becomes. Below that is your cossex, also called the tailbone. It's a triangular shaped fuse vertebrae you know. You have a spine, it's what you see. And if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. There are 23 discs in the human spine. The intervertebral discs is their name you will find. These discs help you flex the hard vertebrae bone between most of your vertebrae. They are shown. They are flexible discs that look like tires on your car. The outer rings, the annulus, and the nucleus center isn't far. Helping you bend and flex is the disc's main job. And running through the center spine is the spinal cord at large. It connects your brain to all your body's nerves. So take care of your spine because that's what your body deserves. You have a spine, it's what you see. And if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. You have a spine, it's what you see. And if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. How about I lend you a hand and tell you about me? There are 27 bones in the average hand, see? Let's start with the tips of my fingers and you'll see There are five on my hand called the distal phalanges They are attached to the middle phalanges There are only four of them on the fingers of me The proximal
of fat insulation and padding for your body to keep the heat in. I am your skin, made of three layers within. I'm the largest organ of the body, but up to four millimeters thin. I'm your skin, protected by keratin. I help control your core temperature and my colors caused by the pigment. Attached to your spine, your vital organs are encased. I'm your ribcage. 
made up of 24 bones I expand when you breathe And your chest is my home Let's stop by looking at all these bones in me They wrap around your body as you plainly see This is the body of the sternum front and center on stage The bottom part of the breastbone in everyone's ribcage Man who brims the top part of the sternum on me The xiphoid process is the final bone in the sternum family From the top of the sternum that I've already explained Are seven ribs on either side of me with an honest name They are called the true ribs in the human body They're also named the sternal ribs of your chest cavity Numb your rib cage I keep your inside safe Attach to your spine Your vital organs I encase Numb your rib cage Made up of 24 bones I expand when you breathe And your chest is my home The remaining 5 pairs of ribs That complete the bones in me Are located at the bottom of my cage I guarantee These 5 pairs of flat bones Are called the false ribs you see Because their cartilage doesn't reach the sternum directly Coastal cartilage is what connects these bones to the front of me This cartilage is transparent and is called the hyaline When you look at the back of the human body you'll notice that all the ribs connect to the spine and this is key At the head of each rib the radiate ligaments attach the rib cage to the thoracic vertebrae that's how they latch Back to the front of your body these two bones are clavicle they attach the scapula to the sternum and play an important role Numb your rib cage, I keep your inside safe Attach to your spine, your vital organs I encase Numb your rib cage, made up of 24 bones I expand when you breathe and your chest is my home Two of the vital organs in which it's my job to protect Are the heart and the lungs, without my protection they be wrecked I'm one of the strongest structures that does exist in you so take care of your rib cage and everything that you do numb your rib cage i keep your inside safe attach to your spine your vital organs i encase numb your rib cage made up of 24 bones i expand when you breathe and your chest is my home numb your rib cage i keep your inside safe Attach to your spine, your vital organs I encase I'm your rib cage, made up of 24 bones I expand when you breathe and your chest is my home Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters We are your lungs We love to keep your body going We provide the oxygen to fuel your cells So they keep flowing We're your lungs Part of the respiratory system You can find us in your chest Keeping us healthy is your mission It starts in your mouth And in your nasal cavity When you take in a breath of air It fills your trachea, you see Your trachea is there To move the air that you breathe into the bronchus in your lungs they look just like little trees small branches called bronchioles they guide the air through me which pulls it to these little sacks and they're called alveoli we are your lungs we love to keep your body going we provide the oxygen to fuel your cells so they keep flowing we're your lungs part of the respiratory system you can find us in your chest keeping us healthy is your mission the alveoli's job is to take oxygen from air and pass it through the walls of capillaries to blood cells in there they also take carbon dioxide off of your blood cells which travels through your respiratory system so you can feel well the right lung has an upper middle and a lower lobe the left lung only has the upper and the lower lobe we are your lungs We love to keep your body going We provide the oxygen to fuel your cells So they keep flowing We're your lungs Part of the respiratory system You can find us in your chest Keeping us healthy is your mission Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel Click the link 
in the description below. I am your spleen. You will learn what this means. I am purple five inches long and I'm shaped like a bean. I'm your spleen. You will learn what this means. I produce antibodies and I keep your blood clean. I'm the spleen, the largest organ in the lymphatic system. You don't need me, but if removed from your body, you'll be more prone to infection. The spleen is located under the rib cage above the stomach. Here in the upper left quadrant of the abdomen, the space I share. What's the anatomy of the spleen? Yeah, the spleen's part. I will teach you this now while you look at the splenic work of art. Here you see the splenic hilum and the gastric surface There's the pancreatic and renal surface Now repeat this The splenic artery supplies oxygenated blood to the spleen And the splenic vein drains the blood from the spleen If you know what I mean Let's take a look inside the spleen to learn more of its parts There are two main types of tissue in me and that's where we'll start The first main tissue is called the red pulp Of this I will tell it filters blood of antigens, microorganisms, and defective red blood cells The second main tissue is called white pulp, we'll view this as well It's part of the immune system, mainly made up of white blood cells The trabeculae of the spleen is the framework within Which is attached to the capsule it surrounds the spleen and it's thin. Vascular sinusoids are white vessels that drain into pulp veins. We'll learn how this all works, but first let's sing again. I am your spleen. You will learn what this means. I am purple five inches long and I'm shaped like a bean. I'm your spleen. You will learn what this means. I produce antibodies and I keep your blood clean. All the functions of your spleen are really complex, but I'll explain the basic functions in the next few steps. Red blood cells last 120 days delivering oxygen to your body. When they're damaged, entering the spleen recycled is what they'll be. Healthy cells flow through, but those that are in their unhealthy stages are broken down by large white blood cells that are called macrophages. This all happens in the red pulp tissue that we talked about, these macrophages main job is to filter all the damaged cells out. These old red blood cells are turned into conjugated bilirubin, which is excreted through bile out of your body then. The white pulp consists entirely of lymphoid tissue. Here I will explain the basics of what it does for you. When you get sick or have some sort of nasty disease, the lymphoid tissue within the white pulp sets your body at ease. It creates white blood cells to fight off the sickness and then it it also makes antibodies that bind to specific antigens. Both white blood cells and antibodies fight sickness and disease, enabling them to be cleared from the circulation in your body. The spleen stores up to a cup of blood for your safety, ready to be released if there's a significant loss of blood, you see. Many platelets are also stored within the blood in the spleen to help form blood clots to prevent further blood loss, if you know what I mean. Please take care of your body so you don't get sick and if you do the spleen will be there to help you fix it i am your spleen you will learn what this means i am purple five inches long and i'm shaped like a bean i'm your spleen you will learn what this means i produce antibodies and i keep your blood clean shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I'm your heart. I live inside of your chest. I'm about the size of your fist and I never take a rest. I'm your heart. You couldn't live without me. I pump the blood that fuels your body, so take care of me, please. The human heart is made up of four major chambers in me. The right atrium and right ventricle are the first two you see. They receive blood that's low in oxygen from your whole body and sends it to your lungs through your pulmonary artery. 
Virgin met your left atrium receives and flows through the left ventricle to the aortic arteries. I'm your heart. I live inside of your chest. I'm about the size of your fist and I never take a rest. I'm your heart. You couldn't live without me. I pump the blood that fuels your body. So take care of me, please. I can beat more than 100,000 times in one day. Pumping about 2,000 gallons of blood through your body. There is about 60,000 miles of vessels in your circulatory system. I always keep them full. I have four valves that open and close that control the blood through me. The tricuspid, pulmonic, mitral, and aortic valves you see. I'm your heart. I live inside of your chest. I'm about the size of your fist and I never take a rest. I'm your heart. You couldn't live without me. I pump the blood that fuels your body. So take care of me, please. description below. I am a myocyte. Your muscles are made up of me. Here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body. We'll start with the deltoids that sit on the shoulders of your arms. There are three parts to your deltoid that I'll teach you with some charm. The interior fiber are on the front side of you while the lateral fibers sit on the top of the shoulders that's two the third part's called posterior that sits on your back all three make up your deltoid muscles now how about that the next muscle we'll look at are the pectorals on your chest there are two parts to this muscle that i hope you never rest there's a pectoral
shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue. A muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Your tongue is covered in a pink tissue called mucosa. Its main job is to protect deeper tissue when you gnaw. The rough parts of your tongue are called the lingual papillae. They are the small bumps that store taste buds so you enjoy food all day. There are four different types of your tongue's papillae. They're named the filiform, foliate, fungiform, and circumvallate. The frenum is the tether tongues that hold your tongue in place so your mouth can move freely while it runs. The back of your tongue is anchored by the hyoid bone. The tongue is vital for many things I will show. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue. A muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. The muscles in your tongue are a few we will discuss. The stylo, hyo, and genio all end in glossus. Then the genio and stylo, hyoideus. Learning these muscles of your tongue, yeah, it is a must. Your tongue's main job's to help you chew and swallow all your food. It also helps you speak all words to express your present mood. The common amount of taste that your tongue can recognize are the four. I will tell you it may come as a surprise. Sweet, sour, bitter, and salty are the four. But sometimes you taste a fifth called umami I adore. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue. A muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. When you bite into your food, the chemicals from foods release and sinks into the taste papilla to the taste buds that run deep. Sensory cells transform chemicals into nerve signals that are sent into the brain through the nerve fibers they do go. When the signals reach your brain, that information is passed through your cranial nerves to the brain stem really fast. Your medulla oblongata takes all those signals and sends them to the limbic and cortical systems you should know. Perception and emotion are then formed for what you ate, then mixed with smells and texture, which create this thing called taste. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue. A muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. You have a spine, it's what you see, and if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. I am your spinal column, I'm made of lots of bones, these bones are called your vertebrae, collectively your spine's their home. The first group we'll look at is the cervical curvature, it's made up of seven vertebrae, we'll learn them I am sure. The first vertebrae we will discuss are C1 and C2, also known as the atlas and the axis inside of you. The atlas joins the base of the skull and you call your head, it's job to support head weight, without it you'd flop instead. The C2 axis allows your C1 and your skull to move about in most directions with Without it, life would be dull. C3 through C7 are there to support your head. Let's move on to the next group after the chorus is said. You have a spine, it's what you see. And if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. The next group of your spine we will be looking at is the thoracic curvatures, 12 vertebrae intact. Each vertebrae we see begins with the letter T. The T stands for thoracic, let's take a look and see. T1 through T12 are bigger than the group in your neck. Because
Cause the spine supports more weight the further down we check At the bottom of this group begins the lumbar curvatures Five vertebrae start with the letter L, you'll learn I'm sure L1 through L5 brings you down to the sacrum The fuse bone between your hips and the pelvis it becomes Below that is your cossacks, also called the tailbone It's a triangular shaped fuse vertebrae, you know You have a spine it's what you see And if you wanna learn my parts Watch this video of me There are 23 discs In the human spine The intervertebral discs Is their name you will find These discs help you flex The hard vertebrae bone Between most of your vertebrae They are shown They are flexible discs That look like tires on your car The outer rings the annual and the nuclear center isn't far Helping you bend and flex is the disc's main job And running through the center spine is the spinal cord at large It connects your brain to all your body's nerves So take care of your spine because that's what your body deserves You have a spine, it's what you see And if you wanna learn my parts, watch this video of me You have a spine, it's what you see and if you want to learn my parts, watch this video of me. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. How about I lend you a hand and tell you
six bones that make up each of your feet I have a bunch of joints, yes, 33 Your two feet make up one quarter of the bones in the human body Now let's take a look at the bones in each section more closely And learn all their names to further understand my anatomy In the hind foot shown here, you'll see that two bones appear First the talus bone, it's the lowest part of the ankle joint in the upper rear it's a calcaneus or heel bone Which is the biggest bone in your foot This is good for you to know And on to the midfoot I'll name the rest of the tarsal bones The navicular cuboid and three cuneiform bones as shown The lateral, intermediate, and medial Are the names of the three cuneiform bones Part of the midfoot's total fame The forefoot is made up of two groups that you see Their names are metatarsals and also the the metatarsals are made up of five bones Attached to 14 phalanges There are three groups you should know The proximal, middle, and distal phalanges Make up the bones of your toes Onto the chorus please Take a walk with me To learn about the 26 bones That make up each of your feet I have a bunch of joints, yes 33 Your two feet make up one quarter of the bones the human body there are 33 joints within the foot of a human 107 ligaments and 19 muscles understand the sweat glands of the foot produce approximately one half pint of perspiration and yes that is daily one quarter of the total bones in the human body are located within your two feet to help you keep steady so take care of your feet because you're only I have a bunch of joints, yes, 33 Your two feet make up one quarter of the bones in the human body Shop our new store merch And get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters
temperature that you need. The pores also secrete sebum oil so your skin does not dry out and hair follicles that make and hold your hair what you need without a doubt. I am your skin, made of three layers within. I'm the largest organ of the body but up to four millimeters thin. I'm your skin, protected by keratin. I help control your Watching KLT, please subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and check out the KLT merch store.